Yo, what's up everybody? Jumping here. Today, I want to show you guys my favorite hunting spot in Red Dead Redemption 2 online. I've been grinding this spot for a long time now, and I decided it's finally time to make a video to show everybody about this spot just because it is so good. I've been able to get thousands upon thousands of dollars farming this spot. It is so quick to get money. It is unbelievable. Now, what you're going to want to get for this is the bolt action rifle. Now, you can hunt this spot with the repeater, but it's not going to be as good until you get the rifle. But you can hunt it until you can afford the rifle. And once you get the rifle, then you can get a lot of perfect kills on almost every animal. Pretty much everything from a deer to a grizzly bear, if you hit it in the right spot and take it down in one shot, you should be able to get the perfect if it is a perfect animal. So that is just awesome. The other weapon you're going to want to get, if you can, is the varmint rifle, just for taking out small animals, things like rabbits, because a rabbit is worth about $5 if you take the carcass and you skin it and everything. So that is completely worth grabbing and picking up. If you see a three-star rabbit, take it out and take it with you. But the rifle is amazing for taking out anything from a deer to a bison to a grizzly bear or a cougar. And that is what we're going to be hunting in this spot. So what you're going to want to do if you want to farm this spot, this is in Blackwater, you want to put your waypoint about right here on the road. This is where it says Great Plains. Now the reason why you want to put the waypoint here is because you're going to want to approach the waypoint every single time you're trying to get this cougar. But what you don't want to do is actually go over the waypoint and make it go away. So once you get to about here, you're going to want to go down this way and use your eagle eye. You should see a cougar on this hill. Now this cougar will spawn consistently and a lot of times it's going to come as a 3 star. It's pretty rare when it comes as a 1 star and sometimes you will see it as a 2 star. If you're having trouble finding it and it's just not there, you might want to load into a new instant or a new lobby, whatever you want to call it. Just load into a new spot and check it just because you might be having trouble with the spawns. But once it starts to spawn, it will spawn consistently and you can just keep getting it over and over again now once you take out the cougar and you skin it and you take the carcass you're going to want to head over here and there's going to be bison over here they will spawn pretty consistently and if they're not there maybe take out a couple deers then go ahead and make your way back to the butcher sell your stuff and come on back and by the time you get back here the cougar should be back the bison might be back and if not the bison, you'll get some deer. So now I'm going to give you an example on how this works. And I'm going to show you how to effectively kill this cougar without even aggroing it. It's really easy. And I'm going to show you how to farm the bison. And then once you're done with that, you just head back to the butcher, sell your load, and then come on back and get it again. Alrighty guys, well I'm going to start at the butcher and I'm going to make my way out of Blackwater and to the spot. Now because this is in Blackwater, it is a popular spot. There's going to be a lot of people around generally. Sometimes you can get lucky and there's no one around. And that is the best time to hunt if you can do it. But if there's people around, they can shoot you. Try to avoid the middle of town. Always stay on the outskirts. And normally people won't mess with you. But sometimes you'll get unlucky. Now I'm going to make my way over to the spot. And then once I get close to my wave point, I'm going to move to the left. And this thing is going to be on the hill. You're going to want to use Eagle Eye to see it. And then you want to slowly approach it. You do want to get a little bit close to it. You don't want to be like right up on it. Otherwise it will aggro. But you do want to get somewhat close so that you can get the shot a lot easier. But right there I could see it with my eagle eye. So I'm going to get a little bit closer. And then what you want to do here is you want to aim at it. And check and see what it is. It's a three star cougar. Move your reticle to the left. And when you see the white that means that you are really close to the head. So if you go a little bit back to the right. That will be the head. The head is always furthest to the left of the animal. So once you actually get it and you get the three star cougar, this thing is worth so much money. The pelt is worth $5. The carcass is worth $13.50. And the teeth is worth a dollar. And the meat is worth $2.10. So if you add it all up, that's $21.60, which is crazy for one animal. Now right here, this is actually the first two runs because the one I showed you a second ago, that was actually the third time in a row I got it. I've been able to get this thing up to six times in a row and it's been three star every single time. But right here, I kind of messed up. 
I got a little bit too close and it's going to aggro. When it aggroes, it's going to be a lot harder to get the headshot on it. So that is unfortunate, but I got lucky. It kind of slowed down for me. So I was able to get it and it's going to happen actually twice. So that's kind of messed up, but I did show you and I wanted to show you first on how to properly kill this thing. You don't want to get too close to it. You want to kind of stay back and do what I did in the beginning. But right here, besides killing the cougar, I'm also going to show you what you want to do after the fact. Because there's a spot where you can easily find the bison, or you just find some deer. If you can't find the bison, just take out a couple deer, and then head back. And then when you come back to the spot, this cougar should be here. And if it's not three stars, it's still worth a lot of money. So even if it's one star, you should take it with you just because it is worth quite a bit of money. So I do recommend that. But the three star one is worth so much money. It's insane. And if you can get these bison as well, you are going to come back with about $40 every single time. So it's quite amazing. Now, if you don't see the bison, I showed you on the map where they spawn, but it's really close to the spot. But if you don't see the bison, don't worry because they can spawn. So instead, just look around, maybe find a deer or something. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to find one deer. And then magically, the bison are going to spawn. So I'm going to be able to take them out. And once I get them, the meat that they have, because that's all you want from bison, is really just meat. And also you can get their horns as well. But the meat and the horns, that's going to add up to like 16 bucks. So, I mean, that's crazy. And if you add that into the total, I mean, you're going to walk away with pretty much like 40 bucks every time you do this, if you can do it right. So, I mean, it's really crazy, super quick, and it's just amazing. So, right there, I just got a deer, which the thing is, if you guys don't know... If you can actually take out an animal in one shot, even if it's a one star animal, you will always get the three pieces of meat or however much meat that it will give you. Like a bison will give you four if you can take it out in one shot, where like a deer will give you three. So it doesn't matter the quality of the animal, but if you do shoot the animal twice, then it's going to give you less meat. And the meat is valuable. So here are the bison. And to be honest, the bison can be kind of a pain to get the headshots on. I got pretty lucky here because they all wanted to turn to the side and that's the best time to actually get the headshots but all you need is five bison if you get five that should max you out on meat but remember if you do have to shoot them twice which it's okay to shoot them twice if you have to but if you have to shoot them twice they're only going to give you two pieces of meat so you might have to try to track down more it is pretty easy though to kind of chase them down because they don't generally despawn right away so they'll run away from you and then they'll kind of just like go to a spot and just hang out there for a second. So you can go ahead and take your time, carve up all the ones you got, and then chase after the herd and take them out. So just try to get maxed out on meat if you can. And then you want to head back. Now you don't want to like take too much time here. But the reason why I'm telling you that you do want to hunt deer or bison or something is because it makes the cougar spawn more consistent. I've been able to actually get the cougar to spawn really quickly by just killing it, taking it back to the butcher, selling it, coming back, and it will respawn. And I've been able to do that multiple times. But what I've noticed is that it's not so consistent. You'll go back sometimes and it's not there. But if you do take the time to go and hunt down some deer or the bison, and then you go back, the cougar is like super consistent. It's there almost every single time, as long as there's not other players like going over there and scaring it off or something because that does happen sometimes people will be fighting out there and maybe they'll scare it off or it will just not respawn because people are there so that does happen but overall if you do it like this it is extremely consistent and the chance of a three star cougar is really high but i have noticed as well that sometimes when i'm on certain lobbies or instants or whatever i'll get like a one star and it will just keep being a one star so what I'll do is I'll just switch the instant and then I'll find one where it's three star and then it's like consistently a three star and maybe now and again it might be a one star or a two star but either way it's still worth it so I normally always kill it I take the stuff because it's worth a lot of money like a two star will give you I believe like 13 14 15 bucks I'm not exactly sure on the prices but yeah I mean like you should definitely take it out. And also, while you're in this area, look up in the sky. You can find hawks and owls, and those things are worth a lot of money as well. So if you see them, and rabbits as well. A rabbit's worth like $5, or three-star one. So if you get those, always kill them, put them on your horse, and you can make a lot of money. There's all types of animals in this spot. 
But overall here, you're going to see me sell all this stuff. And I'm going to make so much money from this. And you've seen how quick that was. It didn't really take long at all. And now it's time to go back out and check to see if the cougar is there again. Because by going to kill those bison or killing some deer and giving it a little bit more time, that cougar is going to spawn really consistently. Now, if I remember right, in this run, after I get this cougar, because the cougar is going to be there. I'm going to spoil it for you now. But after I actually got the cougar, I did check on the bison and they weren't there. But I did get some deer instead, so that's normally what I do. And I believe on the third run, which was the one I showed you in the beginning, where I actually killed it the proper way without messing it up. On that run, the bison did respawn. So that's normally how they spawn. They don't spawn like every single time. But if you're just going for the cougar, which is like the most important thing, because that's the money, man. You want this cougar. That is the money. But if you do get the cougar and you check the bison or get some deer then you will get them quite a bit. You can easily take them out, and getting their meat is great. And a lot of people farm cows for some reason. I don't know why. The bison, they give more meat, and you can find them super consistently, so it's really easy. But I just got it again. I got the three-star cougar, so there you go, guys. It's really, really easy, although I messed it up again. I messed it up twice in a row. Got a little bit too close, but I did get lucky both times, and I did get the headshot. But try not to have that happen because it's going to be a lot harder to get that headshot if that thing is coming towards you. Alrighty guys, so that's going to do it for the video. I really hope you have enjoyed it and that this has helped. If it has, will you please like the video for me? Be sure to subscribe for future videos. And I really do hope that everyone has a very nice day and peace out.